Good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday morning here in the beautiful state of Texas, 10 o'clock in the morning, and we have got another Salty Texas project ready to go. Uh, I apologize if the audio on this one is kind of weird. I'm using a new computer finally, and for some reason the fan in the computer keeps turning, so sorry about that. A little close to the mic today. So what are we doing? We got epoxy, we got some white pearl, we got some pink glitter, as you just saw there, mixing that up in our East Coast resin, and we're going to make a scrap bowl. But we're going to have some problems with this one. And I've had a couple of subscribers that have been asking about doing like layered epoxy projects. This is the intro to some layered epoxy projects. Also, camera is still messing up on this thing. I don't know why it zooms in, zooms out like that. Uh, I've got one of these expensive Sony cameras. And I have no idea how to use it. I've been using it for like almost two years. And all of a sudden it's going all catawampus. I literally think that all the solid dust inside of this camera is probably affecting it. So what we did was get everything mixed up and now we are just pouring that on to the actual scrap itself. You can see that nice glitter, that nice shimmer looks absolutely amazing. I'm thinking, man, this is gonna turn out fantastic. Uh, but as you'll see here in just a bit, just like every project that I have ever done on this channel, lots and lots of problems for no no reason other than my screw up. So here we are getting a little too excited with the epoxy pour. Uh, I'm going, okay, I still got all this epoxy. And then it starts spilling out the sides. And then it starts to get everywhere all over the workbench. And I'm scrambling to try to pick this up with a shop towel. It's not going well. The camera is zooming in. We're just having all kinds of problems. So Fast forward a couple of hours later, four and a half hours in the pressure pot, I'm thinking I'm more than topped off with the epoxy. And then I get it out and then I notice, what the fuck? There's this line of epoxy that's not there. It's totally missing. It's, I was like, I, I over poured this. There should not be any gaps. And I'm going, great. So I've used up all this epoxy. I'm kind of upset about it, but I'm thinking, okay, let's do a layer. So I was doing another project simultaneously to doing this one and decided, okay, we're going to put another top layer of extra resin on top of this one just so I don't have to shave down all of that uh, epoxy because the the more you don't use, it's going to be smaller. So got it out of the pressure pot three and a half hours later and I'm going, okay, cool. We're, uh, we're topped off here. We got everything the way we want it. Everything's looking nice and neat. However, I had to sacrifice that dollar store Tupperware bowl because it absolutely ruined the bowl itself. And there it is zooming in. But it looks cool. You got that nice layer where it shows the white pearl and pink glitter and then the hodgepodge of other glitter on top of it. So it looks cool and I'm you know I'm pretty excited about this. And then you can see all that glitter on the bottom. I'm going, okay, this this might actually not be too bad. So here we go, putting on that faceplate onto the scrap wood and I had some problems getting the faceplate on. Didn't go on as smoothly as I wanted it to. FYI, fun fact, I've been using the same screws for this uh, faceplate for like the last I would say 20 or so projects. I don't know what screws those are, but man, I only have four of them, and I'm trying to save them because, wow, they're really good, uh, except for this part where then I try to use another screw, and then it didn't go in because it literally snapped off in there. I think I hit a knot of wood or something. You can see there it totally popped off, so not good. So then we got that eventually all screwed onto the faceplate, and now we're just putting it on the lathe, ready to go. Zooming in again for no particular reason, but you got some cool uh, shots there. A uh, lot of wobble on the uh, on the lathe here. Uh, somebody had commented earlier in another project about bolting down my uh, lathe. I haven't been able to bolt it down on this particular MIDI lathe, but in a future project, I did manage to come up with a solution to prevent my lathe from dancing on the workbench. So I am very much aware of that. But thank you for the tip. So here we are getting that top superficial layer off. And initially, I went at it a little aggressive. I'll admit on the bottom por portion of it because I was getting like glass shards instead of like these cool ribbons off and I was kind of aggravated and frustrated which I always say do not go into the wood shop or your garage or any project requiring power tools and be angry because it just does not turn out well. So anyway, here we go. Now we get everything smoothed down on the edge. Everything's going really relatively well. I'm going, okay, cool. We're looking good, looking good, looking good. So now we're just on the back side making that mortise. Getting everything nice, even down. Got that square carbide tool that I love so much. And we're just making that mortise as small as possible to put the chuck in so that we can get the rest of the project going. Once we got it to a shape that I liked, then we came back and hit it again. Uh, 
zooming in and out, horrible YouTube technique, but uh, I actually ended up chipping a little bit of that epoxy on that board and port of that mortise, and I had to come back with the, the round carbide tool, as you can see here, trying to even everything out because it was kind of wonky. So wasn't too, you, know, you can see him kind of there, but uh, that chip out, we got, we took care of it, hit it with a round carbide tool. Uh, I don't think I showed that, but we, we took care of it. So now we're taking the faceplate off trying to save these screws actually i went on i only used three screws for that i'm surprised it didn't fly off the lathe and hit me in the face so hey kudos to me so now we're just taking a uh, chisel and getting that because yeah this part i didn't have to uh which we got i didn't have to hot glue it down it just it stayed in the epoxy so then that all came flying off which you know wasn't too upset about we're, we're gonna get rid of that anyway so now we're just hitting it with the bottom portion of the lip coming back and getting everything nice and even before we start our fun part, the gouging. So after that, getting everything nice and even, rounded out. This part's going relatively smooth. Project didn't, really didn't give me a lot of issues. It, it was actually a pretty fun, smooth project overall. Uh, and it, I, as you saw from the thumbnail, it actually looks absolutely stunning. And I'm doing a lot of bigger, larger projects on these, on these uh, upcoming bowls. So getting a little bit more proficient in the trade if you will so here we are now we're just uh, got everything on the lip portion done now we're just working off that superficial layer on top of the bowl itself before we start the gouging portion of it and you know this part went relatively easy no big deal uh getting good shavings off and now the fun part this i sharpened my chisel let me tell you i i have been a bad woodworker for several several years Actually, I've only been doing this for less than three, but uh, I am really bad about not sharpening my instruments, but wow, after I sharpened this uh, chisel, it, it basically went through like butter. Like, I'm not good at sharpening. I have a Wolverine sharpening system, which is like a top tier thing apparently in the woodworking industry, and you can hear my dog in the background probably barking. It's probably my wife coming home. Uh, so we're going to try to get this commentary done as quickly as humanly possible uh, before the dog uh, chases off all the neighbors. So once we got all that finished, everything on the side of the bowl, now we're just working the edges with the round carbide tool. Uh, the, dog, the dog is chasing off some burglars, as you can hear from the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but we're not going to start this commentary over because we're a, we're a one-shot shop here. We do it one time. No editing. Maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's the problem with my, my channel. I don't know. Anyway... So uh, Murphy is now done barking. Thank you for chasing the robbers off. And as you can see here, uh, now we're just working the edges with the round and the square carbide tool, getting the lip of the bowl the way we wanted. The actual lip itself was a little straight edged or sharp edge instead of like round edges like I typically like to do. Uh, but I was afraid that if I went back and tried to sh uh, dull the edges of the lip of the bowl that I was going to get a fracture or something. So we didn't. we ended up not doing that part. So now we're just getting everything to a nice depth that we want. The absolute bottom portion, or trying to hit the basement of the bowl before we punch to the mortise, trying to get as much depth as possible out of this. So here we are, practically done, and everything is nice and finished. You can see all of that nice uh, shavings and wood chips all over the workbench. And this is what it looks like before we ended up uh, shaping it or not shaping it uh sanding it you can see a little bit of chipping on the side i'll come back a little bit later uh you won't see that in the video uh basically just uh rounding out the bottom portion of that so here we are got the workbench cleaned up this is what it looks like a little bit cleaner before the sanding portion of it starts but in fact i actually did this at uh 1 in the morning uh couldn't sleep and I just really wanted to get this project done so we did the sanding part at like 1 15 in the morning uh, it's good it's therapeutic it helps me rest so as typically we'll do 320 all the way up to 1500 and then come back and hit with micro mesh as we're doing right here everything's looking nice and smooth coming down real nice getting everything polished up real nice and neat like that look at that look at that look at that and then we're just going to hit it with that wood wax that we love so much. This is where the bowl actually shines the most. Looking absolutely, I really love that top layer that we have here. Just absolutely gorgeous. Every time I do these scrap bowls, they all come out different. It looks absolutely amazing. And here's the final product. All nice, neat, even, waxed up. 
trying not to lose my fingers as I polish this. Looking absolutely stunning here in the end. And if I ever stop the laser, you guys can see it. Horrible transition, by the way. But here it is. Finished project. Nice, done, scrap project. Stop the lathe! Stop the lathe! Oh my goodness, man. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking in this edit, but wow. But there it is. That lip portion, man, I think I'm going to do another bowl like that where I just do the, like the lip like that. I love how that looks. Like I had just the right of amount of glitter on that one. But the bottom portion, you can barely see the pink glitter, but you kind of get an idea for what it was supposed to look like. I think it looks absolutely, I think it looks stunning. I hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys are enjoying these projects. You guys, I finished this in, in March of 2021. You guys are probably going to watch this in September. So hope everybody's doing well out there, enjoying the last hot days of summer. I know it's going to be like not like 100 degrees in November here. So hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Okay, so project is done. And for something that gave me a lot of angst, this thing turned out absolutely beautiful. It's a hodgepodge of different substances, woods, epoxy, glitter. It, it looks stunning. Like the camera does not do it justice of how good this looks. It's like 2.30 in the morning, totally got this done. Wow, I, I, I can't be more impressed by this. I am absolutely loving this project. I wasn't too excited about the shape of it initially, but wow, at the end, it looks absolutely stunning. You can kind of see the glitter pattern in there a little bit, but that mix of the top and clear with the bottom, I think it looks great. It's a hodgepodge that just looks stunning. I really love this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Today is March 15th when I'm 2021 when I'm completing this, March 15, 2021. You guys are probably not gonna watch this until August, September sometime, but wow, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys are liking these. Don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. Like, comment, share, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next project. All right, peace.